Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we'll be doing a fun, quick sketch of the classic Batman animated series Killer Croc. So if you are a fan of Batman, you possibly know Croc. So we'll put in an oval, we're doing a portrait. So shoulder, like wide and broad shoulders some blocky delts chest line should be here and collarbone right there it's a simple design and all the character really goes into his head so let's first get rid of the the delts the blocky delts and we will then come back to the head uh, after we go to the collarbone and the other shoulder structure Put. and the delts and that huge chest right there not too many details it was the animated series but all their character was in its narrative and in the writing so straight from the back and then round at the top and then we just go here that will be his immense eyebrow uh, cheek the, the, the jaws so come back like that and round up the jaw there and he actually had normal ears so we'll go with that and just line up this bone accordingly but then it used to come in and it used to come in and there was that smaller upper lip and then there was a gap in between and the lower lip it's kind of like a robot and then there's the under lip right there so Got that going, and then right there, we got the other eyebrow. He had these croc like scale projections there, so we'll put those on, and he had. recording is going okay so we are good and then of course he had those menacing eyes right so as so we have those we are going to get some of some more crocodilian warts on there so we are almost there okay so now the most important other feature is those razor like teeth going to do a closed mouth and I'm at the end of every tooth there I'm just putting in some room for some sort of gum the outside got blackened out but that's fine so there we have it and then he has those menacing eyes and I'm going to have him look this way and he is 
colored in, sort of. Like that, so. There we have it. That is the essential sketch of Keller Croc. And of course, if we want to add some additional dimension to him, let's say that we have a, uh, a light source from here. We we'll just work in some cross edge. I'm actually putting a shadow for each wart as well, running some tones into the creases, behind the creases, and going darker toward the end of the face, and in that case working my way briefly around those crocodile warts. Of course, if you're looking to color him, and if you have to complement the show, then in that case, it's important to know that he was mostly grew light gray with skinny type jeans, or perhaps they were like straightforward slacks, but. right there could make him more angry or I think this will be just sufficient enough and I have again the shadow from that large head going down and let's remember that again this is not the more comic accurate image of Croc so this is the animated series Killer Croc one of my favorite one of my simple but favorite versions and also quite possibly to many people the introductory platform for this character that became a staple in the Batman ropes gallery but he's uh, more of a, in some uh, stories he's depicted to be more of a caring and conflicted anti-hero rather than a one-dimensional villain.
and I actually like the characters like that like that and again I decided to come back to the point briefly just doing some cross hatching around the ports again getting the lower half of the tails done casting stricter darker tones right behind that huge arm and then going in and putting in some cross hatch against the edge of that bicep some tones right there and again I need you to please google some images of this version of croc and I think he also looks good in the manner that you could shade him as if he is in those lighter uh, tones and with some soft light just like washes over the characters in the course of the animated features and that actually has a quite a pleasing effect as well but I went a little slightly different route here because I'm not exactly using colors in our little exercise here I'm just going and putting in the tones quickly with a pencil and I think it's fairly fairly acceptable for a quick pencil sketch of killer croc so I'm going to put in some tones here as well Put in okay so there we have it without like going too dark or without going too light on all areas there's a quick catch of killer croc and you'll see that I'll just do a little smudging around here to make some of the cross hatch more even like so we are done there's a quick cross hatch a pencil sketch of the animated killer croc please do check him out one of my favorites and have fun trying him out thank you for watching and please do subscribe keep in touch have yourself a wonderful day